System. This is the whole chest X-ray. How to read the chest X-ray? This is the checklist. Okay. Can you switch up the light, please? Okay. Remember what we are learning today is how to read the chest X-ray. Practically speaking, when a patient comes to you, okay, when you are sitting in a clinic. When you are sitting in an exam for clinical school station, okay, you have to go through these checklists. This is the suggested list. In this order, you can go. But there is no authenticated order. You can start from any anywhere. But if you go in an organized way, there are less chances you miss the things. The topmost, whenever. A chest X-ray film is in front of you. As we discussed in the cardiovascular system, try to first follow some technical aspects. Check the name, ID, date. Check it's a PA X-ray, it's a AP X-ray. Which view is this? Is this technically X-ray was taken with the correct position by checking it's central or not? The exposure is good or not? It's an inspiratory film or expiratory film. You discuss all these things in detail with the cardiovascular system. After that, we start reading the from the trachea. Okay, the central midline lucency. Okay, it's normal position or it's deviated. Then we go through the lucencies of the lungs, both sides of the lungs, zone to zone and we compare the right and left, the upper zone with the right side with the left side, the mid zone and the lower zones. Checking for the air lucency, normal air should be symmetrical both sides. Checking for the white vascular markings of the lungs on both sides, are they normal or they decrease or increase. And checking for the sizes of the lungs, comparing the right and left. Are they normal? Are the volumes decrease? Suggesting collapse. Or the volumes are increased in emphysema, for example. Then, number four, check the costophrenic angles. Normally, they are sharp. Abnormally, they are blunted, obliterated, obscured. Commonly, due to the presence of the pleural effusion, pleural tube, and Rarely due to the pleural thickening or fibrosis. Number five, check the central mediastinum, the zone between the two yes. lines. Okay, is it okay centrally positioned or deviated to right or left? And it is normally narrow or it is widened with the pathology. We have to check that. Check the aortic nettle 
almost always it is on the left side, the first convexity on the left mediastinal outline. Okay, check for its position left side, not right side. If it's right side, suggest pathology. And check for its size, okay. And check for the any calcification in the wall of the aorta, suggesting the uh, uh, atheromatous plaque or aneurysm. Then below the aortic nickel, check a second small convexity, <coughs> always normally smaller than the aortic nickel, that is for the position of the main pulmonary artery. If it is large beyond the border of the aortic nickel, that suggests that the main pulmonary artery is large, abnormally, maybe due to pulmonary artery hypertension. Check five things in the heart, the heart position, the size, the shape, the borders, any calcification. Normally, the heart, one third is on the right side of the midline, and two third on the left side, check. If it's on the totally right or left or dextrocardia or situs inverses, okay. Check the size in the normal letters in a good quality, technically correct PFL. It should not cross beyond 50% of the thoracic ratio. If it is larger than that, suggest the shadow is large, maybe due to cardiomegaly or diffusion. And check the shape. If the shape is abnormal, like the boot shaped heart or snowman shaped heart or box shaped heart, suggest congenital anomalies. Check the borders. Normally, the borders are clear because of the contrast between the Okay. Air containing lung and the fluid containing heart. If their borders are indistinct, this suggests you that okay. there is some okay. associated lung pathology on the right side, the middle lobe, and the left okay. side, the lingular lobe. Check the calcification, any calcification in the vicinity of the heart always suggests you the pathology because normal, normally there is no calcification in the heart area. So, presence of calcification in the heart area suggests you either the calcification and the diastrophic calcification in the valvular heart disease or calcification in the coronary arteries, calcification in the wall of the ventricular aneurysm and so on. Then, next day you should not forget to check the ribs, the rib cage, is it okay? Is there any erosions associated? with the vascular abnormality or are there any fractures or are there any lytic lesions. Similarly, check the clavicles and the humerus also. Check the soft tissues along the lateral chest wall. Normally, they are soft, gray-white. If it contains here, suggest you surgical emphysema. Same, same in the neck. And check the breast shadows. Both should be bilateral present in the females. If one is absent, that gives you a clue that one breast is removed, most likely due to mastectomy. Okay. Check the positions of the diaphragm. The right is slightly higher than the left. Left is slightly lower down. Okay, due to the weight of the heart. But it should not be, yeah. the discrepancy in the position should not be beyond 1.5 centimeter, otherwise it suggests some abnormality, the elevation of the diaphragm, unilateral or bilateral suggest you, yeah. pathology in above the diaphragm, within the diaphragm or below the diaphragm. And normally the diaphragm should be sharply uh, outlined. Lastly, below the left, and the diaphragm, the gas shadow, the stomach shadow should be present. Absence of that signifies an pathology or if it is on the right side, so this situs inverses or next to oh, situs inverses, okay. So this is the huge list. Seems to be difficult at the start, but once you make the practice, okay, while you are doing the practice, make it a habit to go through one by one through these checklists. Then it won't take more than a minute or so for the each fit. Starting from the first point, that is just an important thing that the x-ray which is in front of you 
during the uh, reading, during the exam, is it a really a PAVU or, or a PAVU? This, these are the technical things that PAVU is taken. The x-rays are passed from the posterior aspect and goes through the empty aspect to the front, okay? And the distance is almost 6 feet. The heart is closer to the x-ray of the violent case of AK view. The patient is lying in supine position. The x-ray source is closer to the heart and the x-ray film is far away from the heart. That's the reason that the, there is a magnification on the film for the heart on AK view. The bases are higher due to the raised intra-abdominal pressure. There is a soft shadows at the bases due to congestion. That's all giving a false impression of pathologies. So be careful that usually the AP peer view is the standard peer view, okay? And AP view is a just a compromised view for the emergency situations in ICU when the patient does not attempt to sit up. The thing is important for you whenever you are interpreting, okay, do not interpret on majority of the things on AP view because you might make the mistakes because of the magnification of the heart and widening of the mediation and these are all technical related things. You have this concept? Okay, starting with the trachea, trachea is a central lucency as you see here by yellow arrow, okay, these are outlined by the markers, okay, this is the normal position of the okay. trachea, okay, and then it bifurcates as we go down, it bifurcates into right main bronchus and left main bronchus. So checking the central position of the trachea is important because if the trachea is deviated, is shifted, it suggests you the presence of some pathologies. Like in this example, you see the trachea is pulled to the right side because of the presence of collapse of the right lung. It is collapse. It's a negative pressure is developed. So it is pulling you. So itself suggesting you that the trachea itself is in position is abnormal, but there is no pathology inside the trachea. It is a secondary effect of the collapse of the lung. Check this example again, the opposite side, the trick is again, it is deviated to the left. My question, is it pulled or pushed? There are two things. Well, according to the pushed opacity on the other side. In this example, do you think it is pulled to the left side or it is pushed to the left side? Pulled. Why you say pulled? Yes, because there is a collapse of the lung due to negative pressure, it is pulled, okay, it is not pushed. See in this example, it is deviated to the right side, it is pulled or pushed? Pushed. It is pushed because of the? Because of the? No, fibrosis and collapse will pull. No, no collapse. When it is pushed? Other side is the So there is a soft tissue mass of the thyroid which is pushing the trachea. So understanding this concept of pull and push is important. Suggesting to some underlying Okay. Now see here again the trachea that is into the left. It is pulled or pushed push, to the left. Push, push, push. Very nice. It is pushed to the left because of mass. Because of the soft tissue density mass and the right side of the epimediastinum. Maybe a large lymph node, maybe a retrosternal goiter. We will confirm by further evaluation by CT scan exact origin of that. But it gives you a clue that. The trachea is deviated, it is pushed by some tissue mass. So now you understand the tracheal importance, the tracheal recency, how much it is important. Now, next item is to check the lung, compare the both lungs. You can start viewing the lung 
from the apex of the right line go, go down and to the left but not the whole you can divide into three zones upper zone middle zone and lower zone okay the upper zone is confined by the upper two ribs anteriorly and two to four middle and third would be the lower zones comparing the blackness lucency right side upper zone left side upper zone right side middle zone left side middle zone right side lower zone left side middle zone it should be bilateral symmetric lucency suppose if there is an abnormal um, opacity suggests you there is some pathology either a consolidation or a collapse or a mass within the gland so we have to tell that this there is a some opacity in that relevant site okay when we are checking the lens zone to zone we should also try to focus the white branching patterns of the vascularity also on the upper zone both side middle zone and lower zones the vascularity they are lacking at the periphery they are always present in the inner two thirds of the lens this is slightly more darker here because of the technical things you are unable to see the good vascularity we will show in other films but in the lower zones you can see the vascularity clearly Okay. You see now this X-ray is showing you more clearly the vascularity. Okay, see the vascularity. Small clearly seen. Now you have to compare the vascularity both sides. Okay. So remember that normally the lungs contain or visible on the chest X-ray to you is the blackness. due to presence of air in the alveoli and white branching pattern due to the pulmonary vascularity there are no other things normally visible in the lung area is it clear to you okay there should be bilateral symmetric air lucency there should be bilateral symmetric vascularity clear okay this is just a division for understanding of the zones upper zone middle zone and the lower zones to you now let's see this example if we want to assess uh, this x just x3 so far we have learned we apply here this is a just x3 p m u or a p view p m p m u with a good centering We remember that the, the distance between the medial lens of the clavicle from the spinous process is Same. normal. So with a good centering, there is no deviation, and it's a PA view, not a AP view. Okay. Then the trachea is central or deviated? Central. central and normal diameter. Then we learn the uh, start looking at the zones, the upper zones. Okay, compare. Is it okay? No. No. Okay, somewhat right upper zone is not good. What about the mid zones, right side and left side? Definitely, definitely, there is a abnormal opacity on the right side of the mid zone and upper zone. But if we compare the lower zone, almost the same thing. Okay. So we learn here by comparing the two lung zones that. There is a normal symmetry or not in the lungs. Check the vascularity. Obviously, the vascularity we cannot see here because the contrast between the two black and white is lost. Okay. Yeah. What is this pathology? This is not our uh, objective right now. But we understand while we are reading the X-ray, we got a clue that there is some pathology. the uh, right upper and mid zones now check it again and apply that if you compare the two zones the left mid zone has a well defined rounded focus okay that's it yes the right side is in the right side this is just a technical thing okay because the film you see here it's not good compare again the Right and left upper zones. What do you think? Yes, they are symmetric. Okay, symmetric. Compare the mid zones, right and left. Yes, symmetric. 
the left mid zone has Impressive. three topology, consolidation. What about the lower zones? The right and left lower zones, if you can tell, the left lower zone has again the topology. So there's an asymmetry, okay. What about the volume of the lens? You see here? Too much the volumes of the lens, the right side as well as the left side. So it means we are making a conclusion that when the lens volumes are increased, there are chances of the obstructive airways disease like emphysema, bronchialisma. Okay? Clear? And how we confirm that the lens volumes are increased? Count the ribs. Okay? Normally, the anterior end of six ribs, they fall at the level of the diaphragm or the ten ribs, okay? Beyond that, it means it is the lung volumes are increased. Okay, and here the lung volume is decreased decrease because of the fibrosis visible. Otherwise, the lung volume could be decreased because of the collapse. Okay. What is the theory? Pardon? This is the one lung, this is the fibrosis, this is the gaseous distinction of the stomach. Okay? Because the volume is decreased, the lung has been shrunken. So the diaphragm moves up, and there is some gas levels of which is distending also the shrunken. Checking the heart, we have to revise the five things in the heart that is, the heart size. Heart shape, heart borders, heart position, and heart calcification. Okay, we have to, we have already learned that the size of the heart we can assess on the test X-ray by taking the cardiothoracic ratio. That is taking the maximum diameter of the heart and reduce it from the maximum dimension of the thoracic cavity. Okay, it should be normally. If the film is okay and here you should be less than 50% in the adult patients. If it is beyond that, we suggest that the heart shadow is large and could be due to cardiomegaly, pericardial fusion, cardiomyopathy, etc. Remember in the children, the cardiothoracic ratio is bigger. The heart may occupy up to 60% of the thoracic cavity. Okay, that is a normal phenomenon. Now, let's see by our visual subjective appearance. If we try to measure the ratio of the heart, it is occupying the bigger space in this thoracic cavity. Huh? Is it so? Definitely, it is larger no. than the. No. Okay. And it is larger than the 50%. It is large. Okay. So the causes of a large heart shadow either could be cardiomegaly, could be pericardial effusion, could be cardiomyopathy, could be congenital, and so on. Okay. Okay. Clear? We can easily distinguish on the same chest X-ray. Is it due to cardiomegaly or due to pericardial effusion? Check the vascularity, which is always increased in congestive cardiac failure, which is normal in the pericardial effusion. And the shape of the heart is much more rounded and globular in case of pericardial effusion. Okay. So checking the heart position normally, we know that the one third of the heart is on the right side, and two thirds of the heart occupies the left side of the middle line. Okay, any deviation to this position suggests you some pathologies like in this example, the heart is mostly located on the right side and also the stomach shadow, any stage of left side is on the right side, suggesting you that situs, not the histocardus, situs and versus, okay. See here. Can we see the heart shadow? No. Why we are not seeing the heart shadow? Hmm? Because the left lens yeah. air contrast yeah. is lost. Yeah, but what about the right side? No, no, no. Why the right heart bar is lost? Shifted. Because it is shifted to, to the left side. Now my question again. Is it pushed 
to the left side or it is pulled to the left side? Pulled. Very good answer. Why no Why it is pulled to the left side? Because there is nothing on the left side. There is a nothing means what is the normal structure on the left side? The lung. Lung. So the lung is not visible on the left side. So what do you conclude? Where is the lung? Where is the left lung? Removed. Either removed or collapse. Collapse. Okay. Check the position of the trachea. Where is the trachea? Deviated to the left. Pulled. To the left, to the left due to collapse. What about the right lung? Normal. Is it normal or increased volume? No, increased. Increased, high circulation, even herniation. This is a compensatory phenomena because the left lung here is not here. So this is a physiological phenomena. The right lung is hyperinflated and herniated to the right side to compensate the Loss of the lung volume in the left. Yeah, yes. Where is exactly the trachea? Where is exactly the? Uh, the trachea. This is the trachea. See? Mm. Okay. This is the herniated part of the lung. Okay. From the right side. Yeah. Okay. So altered position of the heart either due to. When we are taking the X-ray, the centering is not good or there is a collapse or there is a large effusion which is pushing, not pulling, okay? Or sometimes there is a bony pathology. The sternum is depressed and it pushes the heart to the left side, giving a false impression that the heart is on the left side. But actually it is deviated because of the pathology of the sternum which can be clear clinically as well as on the lateral view of the x -ray. The border of the heart on the left side is sharp, while the border of the right side is not sharp. Recall your anatomy, which lobe of the lung is related with the heart, right heart border? Middle lobe, always remember. Whenever the heart border on the right side, there is right heart border, it is ill-defined, Start thinking of the middle lobe pathology. Very easy to confirm collapse of the middle lobe by a triangular opacity on the lateral view. Okay, what about the left heart border? Not, not sharp. Yeah. The border of the left heart is not sharp, so we suggest there is the pathology. Uh, lower lobe. Uh, lingual. lingual segments of the left. Upper lobe, okay. Lingular segments are the counterparts of the middle lobe because there is no middle lobe on the left side. Okay. Can we judge the shape of the heart yes. so that we can have some idea? Is it triangular looking yes. or is it oval looking? Triangular. It's looking much more sort of a triangular. Okay. Whenever there is a Triangular looking and large heart, the shape is triangular. Remember most likely, this is not definite, it suggests you most likely that the right side of the heart is enlarged. But if it is a oval shape, it's a oval shape. So we suggest that this enlargement of the heart is most likely the prominent part of enlargement is the right left. Ventricle. Clear? Okay. So this shape, triangular assessment, triangular versus oval, if you remember, the right triangular, the left oval. Okay? It might give you a clue to reach the correct diagnosis. These are the various shapes of the heart, suggesting you the congenital anomalies. Okay. Um, how these shapes are produced, this is a different and long discussion. If you just remember some shapes relevant to some pathologies, like a very popular moon shaped heart, uh, sitting heart, the, the box shaped heart, the globular shaped heart, the sonoman shaped heart. We already we have discussed in great detail when we were doing the cardiovascular system. Let's take some example here. Among these all shapes, what do you think? Which shape it suggests you? 
Is it suggesting you egg shape, boot shape, duck shape, box shape, globular? Egg shape. Egg shape. Any other idea? Boot shape. Okay. Let's see here. It looks to be a boot. Okay. Looks to be a boot. So boot shape part means. Suggest you the pathology and check the density. Okay, if they are dense, suggest you the pathology. The two common things occur at the hyla. Most commonly, if the hyla they become enlarged and dense due to the presence of the lymph adenopathies. Normally, the lymph nodes are not visible on the chest X-ray. These white shadows suggest you the arteries or the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. Okay. If in this position, if there is an increased density and prominence, okay, then most likely it suggests you either the prominence of the vascular T in this example, okay, or suggests you the presence of the lymph nodes. Okay. The vessel shadow is overlapped, okay, because of the presence of large lymph nodes. See the convex bulges of the lymph nodes. Normally, Normally, the hyla it is not convex bulging because of the pulmonary respiration here. Okay, if they are bulging and more dense, it suggests you the presence of the nodes, commonly bilateral in sarcoidosis and tuberculosis, and many in the collateral, and could be due to metastasis. Sometimes, with the unilateral 
shadow, and large shadow over the hyaline. Okay, especially in chronic smokers only, suggesting the presence of a mass, central mass over the hyaline. The normal positions of the hyaline and the abnormal of the hyaline. Okay, then come the diaphragm, as I mentioned you earlier. The right diaphragm is slightly higher than the left. The left is lower than because of the weight of the heart. The right is higher might be due to presence of the liver, liver and they are sharp in outline. Okay. The presence of the ele elevation. Okay, the diaphragm may be elevated, unilateral or bilateral. Because of the presence of pathologies above the diaphragm, in this case fibrosis, which is filling the diaphragm. Sometimes there's a par paralysis of the diaphragm. That's why the diaphragm is pulled up. There's a some, sometimes there's pathology below the diaphragm, like push masses or enlarged distended bowel loops or the ascites or the pregnancies or the masses. In either case, we have to assess the position of the diaphragm, compare it to the right and the left, and try to assess the underlying cause why the diaphragm is elevated. Then we have to check the costophrenic angles. Okay, they are normally sharp on both sides. Obliteration of the costophrenic angle, as an example here, slightly on the right side and a, and a prominent blunting on the left side with the meniscus sign because of the presence of the fusion. Okay, and then check the mediastinum. The centrally located white space between the two legs. Check their width and check if it is central or not. In this example on the right side, you see here it is too much widened and lobulated, suggesting you the presence of some masses like the lymphadenopathy or some other masses can distend the mediastinum. Okay? Lateral views after the phase view would be helpful to decide the mediastinal uh, widening, uh, the presence of pathology is in the anterior mediastinal middle of the stadia and the CT scan is the most uh, sensitive investigation to give you the exact localization of the mediastinal mass and origin. Take this example, you see here the mediastinum is too much wider, definitely CT next investigation CT scan will be helpful to you. Check it here, the mediastin is not only widened, but it is also deviated more towards the yeah. left side. Why it is again it is pulled or pushed? Pulled, pulled. What things pulled? Left collapse. Left lung collapse. And what about the right lung? No, okay. More, more large. More than large. Larger, okay. And do you see any vascularity on the right lung? No, because no. it's covered. So in the what do you think? Where is the vascularity? In the center covered by the spinal cord. Is it collapsed? The normal lung must contain the vascularity. Where is, is the vascularity? Is it collapsed? Huh? Is it collapsed? If it is a collapse, it should be white. Yeah. It's a jet black. There's a no no vascularity. Emphysema. Emphysema should be a lung, large lung with vascular. Less vascular. Could it not be a pneumothorax? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then check the bilateral presence of bilateral breast shadows. Okay, absence of a shadow. May suggest you the mastectomy. Check the all the visible bones, the right and left clavicle in the same position. Check the humerus visible both sides. Check the ribs and compare the both sides. Okay. Lastly, check here. There are the red fractures in this example. Okay. The red fractures on the right side and compare the soft tissue on the left side and the right side. You see the abnormal air lucencies in the right soft tissue suggesting you presence of air, surgical mastitis associated with the red fractures in the trauma. Okay, clear? So we have to go. I will give you some of the examples. Okay, suppose this is a normal chest X-ray. 
when we are ready, we start ready the logistics three, TAU, central in position, okay, trachea is located centrally or slightly deviated to the right side. The both lungs, they are symmetrically loosened, compared the upper zones, mid zones, lower zones with normal vascularity, okay, the postrophilic angles are sharp both sides, the uh, left hemidiaphragm is slightly lower down, both diaphragms are sharp, the mediastinum is narrow and centrally located, okay. The aortic knuckle is on the left side and normal, the main corner trunk is not so much visible, I presume it's normal. The right and left color shadows are normal at position and bowel tool symmetric, okay, there's a no increase size or density. The heart is a normal in position. The cardiac thoracic pressure is less than 50% on subjective assessment. The borders are clear. There is no abnormal calcification within the heart area. The both breast shadows are clearly seen. Compared clavicles and other rib cage and the bony elements appear biological symmetric and normal and the soft tissues are normal. So you see I covered all the points. Okay, maybe I jumped uh, something before the others. But this that is no absolute hundred percent accurate. Okay? But you remember all these points you have to cover quickly looking at it, is it normal or not? What is the yes. cost of angle? Where is the cost of angle? This is the called the cost of an angle. Okay, this is called it's normally it is sharp. If it's a fusion or thickening, it would be blunt tape. Okay? Yeah? Any other question? Aortic knuckle. Aortic knuckle. This is the aortic knuckle, right side. The main permanent track is not sharply visible because it's a normal. If it's distant, it will be much more sharper visible. Okay, anything else you want to ask on this one? Okay, let's take another case here. Okay, now this is the same film which I have already shown. If I will read and I expect you from the exam, you have to show your skills. Okay, how? Okay, chest x ray, PA view. Okay, taken in emergency situations. Now I will jump, I will directly jump first to the pathology because I saw here. The rib cage is not normal looking right side. I have seen some fractures in some of the few ribs of the right side. I saw the soft tissues contain the abnormal layer losses because of the abnormal layer in the right soft tissues. The trachea is not too much visible to me. The right upper right lung, almost all the zones, they are asymmetric and soft compared to the left lung because of the lung contusions. The mediastinum appears to be slightly wider here in this case, maybe due to hemorrhage, okay. The heart size is okay, normal, but the shape is also okay, but is slightly deviated probably to the left side. The post opening angles are sharp, the diaphragms both are at the same level, okay. And uh, what else? Blood vessels. Hmm? Blood vessels. Pardon? Yeah. Blood vessels. Mm -hmm. Blood vessels appear prominent and not good looking. The aortic knuckle and pulmonary uh, trunks are not clear to me because of the centering is not good here. Okay. So almost I described more than 90 percent. Okay. The first is to do too much. The on the right side. Because of though, this is what? This is trauma case, accident, road traffic accident. These are all fractures and surgical emphysema and lung confusion and probably hemorrhage. So next you will always do the CT. Okay, because the big thing you want to rule out is the hemorrhage. Okay, the ribs fractures are not so much important for confirmation. Because the management would remain the same thing, okay? The, good, the bad thing we have to exclude the hemorrhage. Come to the third case. Who want to describe this film? Any volunteer? Any volunteer who want to describe this film? Because you have also described these films in exam. Okay. So make it practice. Come. This one I'll do the next. 
Hmm? Okay, I again do chest X-ray PA view. Okay, with a good probably slightly disturbed centering because the medial end here is slightly narrow and it's a wider, slightly tilted film. There is an overexposure of the film because the lens are looking more uh, black and lucent. The trachea looks me a central position. Okay, if I compare the symmetry wise, uh, it's almost okay apart from this opacity because of the pulmonary hyla. It is large. The main other prominent thing in this is the main pulmonary artery is too much bulky. Of the left hyla shadow is obscured. Here, I could not comment so much on the lens. The heart shadow is in normal position and the normal size, okay. The borders are clear, the diaphragm are okay, the postural angles are obscured by this. The bones are okay. For, for me, the main thing here, conclusion for this is this prominent main pulmonary trunk and the higher artery. I feel there is a pressure in the pulmonary artery system because of the pulmonary artery hypertension. Clear? Yes. Okay. Now, this well. This is the PA view. Come here. Okay, just a three PA view. Okay. PA view. Mm -hmm. Well, we, uh, we can tell if it's essentially uh, taken or not. Because mm -hmm. there is some plastic here. Okay. As long as they're both uh, sides similar, except for the highlight region. Okay. There's some uh, probably highlight enlargement. Okay, very good. The heart seems normal, and uh, with the ratio with the, uh, with the thorax. Okay. The diaphragms are normal. Very good. Normal acquisition. Yes. The only abnormality I see is the hyla. The hyla are prominent yes, in the lens and most sides. likely could be due to? Sacralis or TB. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Is there a deviation of the heart to the left? Uh, do you think this is the midline? If I draw a midline here, one third is here, two third is here. Similar. Okay. Yeah. Okay, who will describe this? Another volunteer, come quickly. Who is the next volunteer? Say whatever you want to say. Don't hesitate. Try 10 mistakes here instead of doing mistakes in the exam. Uh, this is a PA view. Just uh, X-ray PA view. Okay. Okay. Uh, showing both lungs. Uh, the size of the lung is approximately uh, both sides. Okay. Uh, the trach here well, doesn't appear here, but it appears since we get a cut with the Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the main feature or the main abnormality seen here is the heart. It's like a bowl. Uh, it's first of all the heart is large. Yes. Okay. Then comment on the shape. Okay. What uh, is the, the shape of the heart? Like uh, a bowl shape or round. Like shape. a round globular shape. Yes, the the okay. thoracic cardiac is higher. It is large. The borders are? Uh, the borders are uh, on the right side are sharp. sharp okay, side left is okay also. What about the position is okay? Uh, but the, uh, Almost maintain one third and two third. Okay, the position, it is not deviated. Yeah. No, no, not deviated. Okay, what yeah. about the um, aortic knuckle, main pulmonary artery, heart? Okay, not visible, say not visible to me. Okay. Say whatever is genuinely in front of you. Okay. 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 And you are following the checklist. It means that you know the subject. If you will not say, I will understand, you does not know. Remember, this is very important message to you. Okay. What else you have not described? Costophrenic angles are normal. Okay. Right side, which is the obvious one, the first one is Okay. Fine. Uh, the, there is no uh, fracture of any bones. Okay. So, so fine. Uh, the apex is developed to the left because it appears in the axillary. Fine. So what is your conclusion? Cardiomegaly. Okay. The shape is suggesting you some specific pathology. The shape, globular shape, heart is... Globular shape, heart is due to? Fusion. Due to? Very hard inclusion. One very important thing you missed here. That is the message. 
if the shape, if the heart is so much large, the you always start first thing the heart failure, mm -hmm. commonest thing. We have to look at the vascularity in the lungs, and we have to comment after this. What do you think? The lung vascularity is normal or no, no. prominent? Prominent. Huh? Prominent. Is it prominent or normal? Prominent means so much no. large and congested. No. 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 Normal. You see? Normal vascularity. That gives you a message to you and to us that you are excluding the congestive cardiac failure. If the heart is so much large, why there is no vascularity? Back congestion. Okay? Good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, who is the next, my colleague? Who will come? Volunteer? Who will come? Huh? Anybody? You all have to describe in the exam. Why are you are hesitating here? Come, 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 come. From the bench, back benchers, sleeping brothers. Come, anybody? Again? No? <laughs> Okay, I will give one extra marks in the exam who will come here. <laughs> when we have exam? Yeah. Yalla, Sura. Yes. I promise to you. You have to remind me, huh? <laughs> Very good. Always say post to entry view of the chest mm -hmm. to be careful. Huh? If you say post to entry view, I will think it's a post to entry view of the skull. Yeah. I will wrongly. No, this is exam. Okay? I am preparing you for the exam. You have to say it because you have not to lose the marks. Okay? Yeah, love this again. Say right that the leg gets deviated to the left side. Very good. And there is a there is no air in the lungs. Very good. There is a total obesity of the left thorax. Yes. Because I presume that the lung volume is not present on the left side. This is suggestive. Suggestive. Suggestive of to the total left lung collapse. Why you say total left lung collapse? Because the every borders are lost. Where is the aortic left mediastinal border? It is lost, the left heart border is lost, the costophrenic angle is lost, the diaphragm is lost on the left side. This is because of the collapse of the left hand. Okay, what about the right leg? The right is maybe Okay, what about the volume of the lung on the right side? It is normal. Normal or increased? Increased. Increased. Because of the compensatory phenomena, there is a hyperinflation of the right leg. What about the remaining thing you did not mention? About the 13 items, we have mentioned few things. And still few things you will comment, which is visible on the right side? On the right side. The diaphragm? Yes, the diaphragm. The angle is sharp. The cost of an angle is sharp, right side. The right diaphragm is okay. Sharp, okay. What about the bones? The bones are not. The last. Good. Okay, thank you very much. You get the good marks, sir. Huh? One mark. Okay. Sorry. If you want the marks, you have to come. Anybody need some marks? I can come again for the. Come. No problem. Come. For the mark. For the mark. No problem. Come.